Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. So remember, JUnit is a, is a framework to do state-based testing. So what we're interested in asserting is that after you um, apply a stimulus or an input to a class under test, uh, you know, that this class is in a particular state. So let's demonstrate here in a very, you know, uh, and, and, uh, and, and along as we do this, we are, I'll show you the, um, the assertions. I have here a very simple um, class, which basically, uh, you know, um, I don't want to get into much details because it's not really important. This, this class basically has a list of books and, um, uh, you know, which are a representation of a CSV file, which is here. Um, and basically a book, uh, if you look at the description of a book, a book contains a title, a page count, a topic. A topic could be, you know, it's the genre of, of the book, computing, sci-fi, novel, finance, and so on. A publication date and a list of the uh, authors, right? So it's a very simple uh, data class. And um, the only thing that this DO is doing is it's parsing this um, CSV file, which contains, um, you know, a list of um, books in CSV form. And it basically just parses this onto a list of these book objects, okay? And then it does some queries. Uh, I don't want to cover this yet. I'll we'll cover this in a more advanced lesson. For now, I just want to go back to the test and um, show you how we use, you know, setup and uh, teardown methods and uh, how we do very simple primitive and object assertions, which are the fundamental building blocks of um, JUnit. So in the setup method, you will want to create the um, you'll want to create the um, the um, the object. So it's going to be a book DAO, and conversely, in the uh, teardown methods, you will want to destroy it. So remember, the idea is that we don't want this state to um, uh, you know to basically be carried over, sort of speak, between test runs. So whatever we do um, on a test, we want to clean up after ourselves. So doing the object initialization and setup method and, and, and then nullifying it on the teardown method guarantees that for each, that each test basically gets a clean, uh, you know, book DAO object, which is what you want. So another thing I want to do with this DAO, this DAO object is get the uh, library. So first I need to parse the library from a path, uh, you know, a default path where I have this um, file stored. So I parse this and then I want to uh, get the library and I want to assign it to a uh, field. So I'm just going to extract a field called library and that should be that. Let's just do this here. And also here, obviously, I want to um, nullify the library uh, field. Okay, good. So this is how you fundamentally do things in JUnit. So setup method um, initializes the state or the component under, under objects. Uh, as I said, you may use the um, you know, the before class method to assist you with that for one time action. And then the teardown method uh, basically um, either nullifies or, or clears the state or what have you in typically in the opposite order that you um, initialize the resources. So think of it as the constructor or initialize things and this would be the destructor for each and every method. Okay, so now that we have a library of um, of uh, books, then let's just exemplify by doing some very simple, um, you know, assertions here. So primitive assertion examples. Um, if you look at this test class uh, for JUnit, you will see that assertions basically um, come. So the most fundamental assertions that you can do 
is assert false and assert true. Okay, so and and one interesting thing or or, or point to note in in JUnit is that the assertions basically are overloaded, and they come uh, in basically in two flavors. One is one that has um, just a condition, and another one that has a an, a message. This message is basically the error message that the test would um, print to you know standard output or to a log in case of a failure and this overloading of um, an assertion method with and without error message it, it's consistent all over another important thing is the order of the expected and actual methods typically um, um, JUnit uh, has the expected method first uh, the parameter and the actual is usually the last parameter and again you have two variants one with the message and one without the message so let's start with the most simple assertions uh, examples first and then we're going to move to object assertions and array assertions so the most fundamental way to assert is just the assert um, true statement right and basically like I said you have two variants one with the error message and one without and um, for example, for this particular example, library size, I can just say if the size equals to 10, then this should be true. Why? Because the book CSV, uh, I know that it has, is loading 10 books. Okay? So another variant of this assertion is one that takes an, uh, a message, which is the first parameter. And this um, message is the error message. So do you would use this to report a failure and you would say size should uh, be 10. I mean obviously this 10 would be extracted as an expected parameter but anyway this is just for the um, for, for the sake of example and one similar to assert true is obviously assert false and I could assert that the size that it's false that the size is not 10 okay so this is the most fundamental way you would assert and if I run this then we should have it should pass okay Good. So then the other very um, you know, fundamental way to assert things in JUnit is object uh, equality and identity and also check for nulls. So you do assert uh, null, right? So that's the most fundamental thing you can do. Um, and for example, I could say that if I use some full uh, or op string here, full and I assert to null, then I could assert that, uh, you know, that it's this is true. Assert, then you have the opposite of a certain um, null, which is assert not null. So we know that this object library, um, you know, is not null. Okay? Um, so this is the basic things you can do with, um, with, with uh, you know, references. Then uh, object equality equals, so this you have primitive um, equality and you have object equality. So when you do for object equality, this actually uh, will invoke the equals method on the object. So for example, assert that it equals that the library size is 10. That's one thing I can do. Um, so different than assert um, equals is assert the same. And this is object identity. So this if I type correctly, library and library are the same object, right? However, assert not the same. If I were to instantiate an object here, new object, new object, then it's true that these two objects are not the same because the same, remember, tests for object identity. Um, so this here, assert same, is exactly equivalent to assert true that this object is equal to this okay so if I now run this then everything should pass okay so so again assert true and assert false are the fundamental ways to do assertions in in JUnit you can test for reference types you know nullity or um, equality of objects and um, you know using object identity
Lastly, I'd just like to cover how you would test for a race um, equality. So as you can see, this method is heavily overloaded to support all types of primitive arrays as well as object arrays. So let's exemplify with a simple um, you know, array. So let's say uh, array 1 and array 2. And let's create these guys here. Uh, let's do an int array. Um, and let me just do, um, I don't know, one, two, three. And let me clone copy this and do uh, a two. And now this should be uh, true. Let's run this. Okay, but for example, if um, I have another array here, a3, then it has another element or whatever, you get the idea, right? Then, um, then this will be false. Okay, array length different. And notice that the message is, um, you know, fairly uh, descriptive, okay? Okay, so this concludes the fundamental assertion types that uh, JUnit supports. Uh, on the next video uh, tutorial, we're going to cover uh, advanced um, JUnit matchers. Thanks for watching.